Today's fresh manna. The authentic community. All the believers were of one heart and mind, and they felt that what they own was not their own, they shared everything they had. Acts 4.32, read Acts 4.23-36. The life of the early church believers is very inspiring and at times is unbelievable as we are not able to see such life together as the body of Christ in this modern age. The believers were so honest and transparent in sharing their needs to one another and then meeting them so generously and joyously that their unity had the power of God to change the world of their time. Their lifestyle was contagiously attractive because they had practical love for one another that the world could see so clearly displayed. Love is the soil of spiritual vitality and revival. In Acts we see a direct correlation between unity and power, between generosity and grace. The love of the community empowered their witness to the gospel and fulfilled Jesus' prayer in John 17, in which he earnestly desired that unity would characterize his followers. Love and unity among believers is our most effective witness in the world, John 13:35. Amen. Love includes admitting that we have needs, not pretending to be completely self-sufficient. Love is also practical in its concern for others. For example, Barnabas was moved to donate land because he saw the needs of his fellow believers. If we are to develop deep, meaningful spiritual friendships, we will have to admit our need for love and learn how to receive it. Most of us are far more comfortable keeping our needs to ourselves and giving to supply the needs of others. But even Paul testifies to the power of admitting need and receiving help from others, see Galatians 4:13, 14, 14 and Philippians 4:10-19. Are there particular areas of personal need that you have yet to share in your spiritual friendship? What keeps you from sharing? If a close friend shared a deep need with you, how would you respond? How does this help you as you consider disclosing your need to others? We have to develop such fellowships of believers where each one is concerned for others and is ready and willing to help when any need arises. 2 Corinthians 9 8 And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. Ephesians 4 28 Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Be challenged. Othniel. Sep 22, 2023. God bless you.